Now, beloved in the Seven Nevinous Church, beloved in the Seven Nevinous Church, this is a very urgent, urgent message, a very urgent, urgent message called The Conference Has Formed a Draconian Image of the Beast. The Conference Has Formed a Draconian Image of the Beast. Now, when I was growing up in the Adventist Church, I did not fully understand the system. I did not understand that in order to be a pastor with, in the NAD, you had to go. You had to follow certain certain draconian measures, certain um, measures. You you couldn't um, preach against, for instance, women's ordination if a certain division or um, union or co local conference or church or general conference uh, supported it. You couldn't speak out against jewelry or celebration if the general conference uh, supported it. You couldn't speak out against new theology or sin and live theology. If the uh, conference supported no victory over sin and uh, spoke out against Jones and Wagner's teaching of Christ has sinful nature after the fall and that it could be tempted by sin and that um, we have to, and we can overcome sin by health or form and that Jesus Christ is in the most holy place and um, that he's leaving it. Basically, you could not preach reform messages if you were in a certain conference that uh, <clears throat> that you know supported different theories, or you'd be fighting with that local conference. So that, that's a draconian image that's being signed in the conference today. Look what's here, me here at um, Acts 5, um, Acts, Acts, actually Acts 4, 18, it says, and they called them and commanded them not to speak at all, nor teach in the name of Jesus, Acts 4, 18. And then also Mark 16, 15, go into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. So Jesus told his disciples to go into all the nations and preach the gospel to every creature. But in the book of Acts, we see the uh, Sanhedrin telling the disciples not to preach in his name because they filled Jerusalem with all their doctrine. Beloved, could it be that the, the seven divinous conference structure in the NAD is formed an image of the beast? A draconian image of the beast that... Uh, which is throwing down the First Amendment right of preachers to give a straight testimony on these issues. Um, also, um, um, verse 19 and 20 of Acts chapter 4, um, what reply did Peter and John make in my Bible study, Bible, Bible doctrinal book? Whether it be right in the sight of God to hearken unto you more than, more than unto God, judge you. For we cannot but speak the things which we have seen and heard, verses 19 and 20. Um, and then Acts 5, 17 and 18. Then the high priest rose up and all that were with him, which were as a sect of the Sadducees, and were filled with indignation and laid their hands on the apostles and put them into the common prison. That's Acts 5, 17 and 18. What did the angel of God then do? Was the angel of the Lord... By open uh, night, opened the prison doors and brought them forth and said, "Go stand in the in the and speak in the temple and the people and to the people of the words of this life." Verses nineteen and twenty. Last scripture. What did the apostles were called? When did the apostles were called before the council again? Uh, what question did the high priest ask them? Did not we straightly command you that you should not? Teach in this name, and behold, ye have filled Jerusalem with all your doctrine, um, and, and intend to bring this man's blood upon us. Verse 28. What reply did the apostles make? Verse 29. We ought to obey God rather than men. Last scripture. Um, well, who is higher than the higher powers? If thou seest the oppression of the poor and violent, burden of the judgment, and justice in, pro in, the, in a province, marvel not at the matter. For he that is higher than the highest regardeth, and there is higher than they. Ecclesiastes 5.8. Because Mordecai refused to bow to Haman, what decree did Haman succeed in having the king issue? And the letters were sent by post unto all the king's provinces and destroyed and to kill and to cause Paris to all Jews, both young and old, little children and women. And one day, even upon the 13th day of the 12th month, which is the month Adar, and to take the spoil of them for a prey. 
Esther 3.13. So, beloved, when ministers decide to speak out against Sunday surge and not have quasi-Sunday sacred and Sunday morning services at 11 to uh, 1 o'clock on Sunday morning, which, by the way, is not a holy convocation, because Leviticus 23, 1 and 2 states that the, uh, the seventh day Sabbath, sunset Friday, sunset Sabbath is a holy convocation, and they speak out against the Sunday sacredness or Sunday surge movement, which is quasi in the sacredness in the celebration of worship on Sunday morning, Sunday morning worship, and also the dressing down on the Sunday morning services, which is the appearance of evil as well. When they do that, beloved, within the Adventist church, when they do that, they're considered to be the problem. They're considered the ones causing division. The they're not causing division. The it's these draconian leaders, these apostate, hypocritical, draconian leaders that are causing division in the church, bringing in women's ordination, bringing in Sunday surge, bringing in new theology, bringing in celebration, bringing in jewelry, makeup, and lipstick, and bringing in Sister Wise and Testament Church Volume 5. Sister, the church is retreating back to Egypt with a chart without a compass. Now, what is Egypt? That's spiritual ease, that's spiritual secularism and atheism. That's what the church is retreating back to. No more hymns in church. No more victory over sin. No more, we have heard a voice on how Jesus saves, Jesus saves. No more trusting in the Bible and the spirit of the final authority. Now it's our policy, our culture, our our teaching. Our, our doctrine that, is, that that's what it is, and they don't they don't want you to give the straight testimony. They won't let me preach on this pulpit. They won't let me preach this uh, this kind of teaching on on the seven day Venice pulpit. They would tell me, no, you can't preach this on the seven day Venice pulpit. You got you got to preach this on, on your social media page or in a in a in an independent church or a self supporting context. That's what they would say to me because they they formed the seven day Venice conference structure had formed the draconian image to um, the, the state. And well, the next thing I'm gonna try to start doing the seven day Adventist people who give a straight testimony or speak out against the beast in his image. We're gonna to start to hand us over to Caesar, um, the 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 the, the uh, uh, evangelical churches for persecution because it's like Sister Wise says in um, in in um, testimonial sexual behavior, adultery, and divorce that the seven day Adventist church when they begin to accept sexual sin in their ministers have 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 formed in have formed the image of the beast, and they become the sister of Babylon. Our seven divinities churches have become the sister of Babylon. So if our seven divinities churches, our seven divinities conference structure, begin to ordain and, and, and hire you know, theologians in our religion departments that are in open sin, open sexual sin, you know, adopting children and d adopting their, nie their niece and nephew and having sex with women they've adopted and they're not married, committing shacking up and stuff like that while doing it and you know, dating them to cover it up and get married. He married a new wife and all kinds of stuff. After leaving his first wife, beating her, being up his first wife, all kinds of stuff like that. That's how they become a sister of Babylon. And uh, they form a Jacob image. They won't, they won't hire a pregnant Jew minister like Jeremiah Davis or Marcus Mason to be a pastor. Because, oh, they don't have their, they don't have their pastoral degree from our seven day of the school. They didn't fill us all their credits, so they can't be a pastor. They may be living a, a righteous life, but they only become an elder in the church. Like like myself, an unofficial elder who's not living in open sin, like some of these apostate ordained out ordained pastors who are in sin, and will not give a straight testimony. These ministers are going to lose their soul salvation when this sons of all crisis happens. If they continue in their sin and they don't repent of their sins, beloved, they're not going to be ready. That's why David Gates gave his sermon even at the door, um, and also the wise from the stand. When grace and close is going to be lost, when Congress and Father, thank you for this day. Thank you for all who mercy and safety in your kingdom. Without the lost one, let them um, give a loud cry. Just Christ, one prayer, man.